Welcome, Commander. The Italian campaign has received some much-needed reinforcements. Coming on December the 5th is the British Air and Sea Company to assist our forces on the battlefield. There are also new changes coming to the campaign in this update, which we will cover in another video. These changes will create more meaningful strategic choices and improve the overall flow and pace as you progress through Italy. Let's now take a look at the new British Air and Sea Company, starting with their capabilities in missions and skirmishes. The core unit of the Air and Sea Company is the Commando Squad. Para-dropping into the field, this elite infantry squad is ready to take on impossible missions. The Commando Squad is trained in the art of camouflage, entering stealth when in cover. When exiting cover and engaging in combat, Commandos will receive a damage and accuracy bonus for a few seconds. Armed with a Sten submachine gun, if you can get the drop on your enemies, you'll tear right through them. Commandos are also equipped with the Mills Bomb for infantry, Sticky Bombs, for vehicles, high explosive demolition charge for anything not moving, smoke bombs when you're in a pinch, as well as training in first aid to recover health out of combat. Use commandos wisely though, they're expensive to replace and will put a drain on your manpower if used for reckless attacks. The commando drop can be upgraded to also drop a supply cache of munitions, or you can unlock the airdropped M1 pack howitzer. Capable of auto-firing at long range, it will no doubt prove useful. You won't get far without a counter to enemy tanks. A CWT truck with a six-pounder can be called in to deal with those kind of threats. A six-pounder can be upgraded to a 17-pounder instead. It's not as mobile, but packs a far heavier punch for those key areas you want to defend. If mobility is a concern, then you can opt for the Royal Guards upgrade instead which will fare better at navigating difficult terrain, as well as being handy in a gunfight. The Centaur Medium Tank is an anti-infantry vehicle, ideal against infantry holding up behind heavy cover or inside buildings, and it can shrug a few shots off from enemy tanks thanks to its armor. Axis ground forces will struggle to take this down, especially when they can arrive with a squad of sappers to keep it repaired or upgraded to increase the damage of nearby commando squads. Hawker Typhoons are on standby to strafe the area, highly effective at taking out infantry and suppressing whoever's left. Upgrade this ability to turn it into a strafe loiter for continual strafing run patterns, or an anti-tank loiter making it effective against vehicle threats instead. Whilst it is a powerful call-in, be sure the area is clear of air defences, otherwise it'll be a costly hit to your munition supply. The Naval Bombardment is the ultimate destructive force. Choose an area you want to completely flatten, and then let the Navy handle the rest. It'll cost a hell of a load of munitions, but this cost can be reduced with an upgrade. If you would like to fire off a few more shells, then that's a possibility too. The incendiary bombing run is a great way to burn out concentrated infantry positions. For a wider spread of flames, you can get the saturation run adding two extra bombers. Or change the payload to a 500 pound bombing run, dropping multiple high explosive bombs instead. The Air and Sea Company come with their own unique upgrades. In the real-time Battle Corps upgrades, Commando's field capabilities can be improved reduced munition costs for commando abilities, better training before they hit the field, airdropped reinforcements to keep them replenished in the battlefield, and improved concealment for deadlier ambushes. For real-time battle support upgrades, there are upgrades for the whole company, such as inspirational combat bonuses for infantry after a naval bombardment, or having the Navy target enemies near visible sector points with a defensive barrage. On the campaign map, the company benefits from having eyes in the sky. When a recon plane flies overhead and marks an enemy company, the Air and Sea Company will receive less damage from their attacks. When the Air and Sea Company is used to support another company, that company will be able to call in two commando squads to assist them with their mission. Just make sure that LZ is clear, Commander. 
The British Air and Sea Company has powerful abilities, but will be highly dependent on munitions to call them in. Together with commandos, you can knock out priority targets to enable the rest of your forces to get in there and complete the job. Taking out anti-air will be crucial to getting more commandos on the field, or calling in your strong air support abilities to suppress infantry and armor threats. That's all to report for now. For more information, check out companyofheroes.com and the Steam Store page. We'll be covering the new changes to the Italian Dynamic campaign in the next video, so stay tuned. Until then, my name's Anuki. Dismissed.